Good evening, blindies. Well, welcome to another edition of Yarn and Cars. Over the last couple of series, we've done the Blind Man's Ultimate American Muscle Car Dream Collection. Well, I had to do the Yanks first to just get them out of the way because they're not what we're about. We're about Australian iron. Real steel. So, let's get into the blind man's um, top three Australian muscle cars and how he'd build them, and my oddball inclusion as always. So, we're going to go in the same sequence as before Mopar or no car, first off the rank. There's only one real choice when it comes to Australian muscle chargers in my book. I will take a E49 Charger Big Tank Fanks Bathurst Edition. Um, we'll have it in silver. And the proper RT 49s were all four speeds. As far as I was led to believe, there was no autos that were raced. There may have been Charger or Max Race, but I don't think they would have been full RT E49 spec. So, let's get into how I'd build my ultimate um, Charger. Of course, we're keeping that Hemi. It's not going nowhere. So, 265. We'll borrow it out. Um, give it a bit of a stroke. Um, this day and age, let's, um, because this is my dream car, so no expense spared, let's get an alloy head done for it. Big cam, big valves, double valve springs, um, I could stick with the triple Webbers, well actually I think they had Delorto's, not Webbers, I'm not sure, Delorto's and Webbers could have been, but um, we're not going to do that because we're modernising it, naturally it's going to have the MSD ignition system and we'll run a standalone um, Howtech Elite um, computer, so, and six individual throttle bodies so that way it's still got the trumpets on the end and it's still got that traditional look but modern start and big power um, again we're going to have to modify the transmission tunnel because I want a 6 speed manual um, diff I'd probably um, build a, another 9 inch because well, the 90s are actually, let's go a bit different. Let's grab a um, Salisbury style dip, like the Ford ELs and that run, a um, solid axle, because they can be built these days to handle up to 1400 horsepower, which can be more than enough for the old charger, So and lighter in weight. So, you know, we'll run the EL style diff, um, BDA braking package because it's an Australian car um, or yeah have to be DBA on uh, the charger I'd say um, naturally we've got the big tank drop tank on the back um, I'd probably trim in the bumpers a little you know I'd redo the body but I wouldn't highly modify it I'd just um, shave it here and there and trim it up tighten it up a bit you know um, keep that gorgeous because it have to be the silver E49 and it has to keep that gorgeous silver colour um, all the blackout stripes and that to, so you know it's the E49 uh, interior I've never been a fan of Chrysler dashes or steering columns 
So we'll go a De Dakota Digital Instrument Cluster, um, Haltech Center Screen with DVD and all the rest of it. So we can run the computer and error through the one screen. Um, subs, amps, the normal, you know, caged, of course, for safety. Um, being it's a silver car, mm, yeah, bl a blood red interior. Actually, no. Let's go a bit oddball on this one and do a buttercup yellow interior with a silver body. That really pop out crazy. So leather, late model electric seats in the front, um, custom center console and dash, uh, air con, power windows, maintaining the back seat, of course, because we want to still be able to take everyone lapping with us. And for wheels, they come out with a set of US races from the factory. So, I'd probably get them done in a, redone in a custom wheel. Because it's my dream car, so obviously I can just order wheels for it. Let's do some US style, US racer style um, wheels, but in a um, 20, 2018 wheel combo to give it that hot rod rake. You know. Again, because I do like my fat look, 275s on the front, 315s on the rear, maybe even a set of 345s. Yeah, you know, drop low coilovers, got to have the coilover suspension package, upgrade sway bars, yeah, you know, one hot charger, something that starts first key. Um, would totally demolish them um, 20 inch tyres on the back and still sit happily in traffic with the aircon going, keeping the, the missus happy. So there you go, the start of our Australian muscle car dream collection, the blind man's choice. What Chrysler would you guys want? We're talking muscle cars, but in a future episode, I will do my um, oddball collection of um, each make and what I'd build. Let's face it, if the blind man got to build every car he wanted, I'm going to need a big, big shed. I might have to buy a um, decommissioned Bunnings store or something in the future god I wish I had the money for that I'd fill it for sure anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed our um, mad Australian Mopar blind man's muscle car dream choice and I'll be back tomorrow night to give you the next edition so stay tuned much love, happy Father's Day to the fathers out there, the mum fathers, grandfathers, adopted fathers, and stand-in fathers. Cheers, guys. Much love. Keep ties to them. Stop.